Hello guys, uh, Rapid Chess here with a video of today. And uh, today I want to show you a game between Paul Murphy and uh, Duke of Brunswick uh, from Paris, 1858. Uh, this game was um, commented by Robert James Fisher and um, also by Willi uh, William Steinitz. So um, it has some interesting ideas. E4 uh, plays uh, Paul Murphy. He wants to have an uh, open game, sacrifice a lot of material and made his opponent. That's what he was doing all his life. E5, 93, D6. This is um, Fielder defense. Um, this is perfectly good move. And uh, for instance, if you want to not just to fight for equality, but uh, try to win, it's a good choice for black. D4 and uh, bishop to g4. Um, this is already a mistake by black, so um, uh, Stanis said that you shouldn't move your bishop before you move your knight, so uh, knight to d7 first was a uh, much better move. Um, uh, takes and uh, black is forced to take on f3, um, because if he takes then exchange of queens and uh, white wins a pawn and has a winning position already. So um, uh, bishop takes f3 and queen takes f3 played by Paul Murphy. Um, it's interesting that um, Stanis proposed here g takes f3 which is also a good move. Because after takes takes and very important move f4. Um, you sometimes uh, get these positions from different e4, d6, um, this field or defense uh, positions with exchange of queens on d8. So f4 is very good move. You shouldn't place your pawn on f3 and let black final finalize their development. And uh, Steins knew it. I was quite surprised. So let's see what um, black does here. They play normally knight of 6, takes, takes, bishop g2. Uh, just pay attention that white has two bishops and the position is open. So in open position, um, um, two bishops, uh, they have a material advantage over black. And uh, for instance, knight to c5, defending b7 and b4. So this is typical for Steinitz difficult one of his ideas. So let's move on and um, in this position um, Paul Murphy took with the queen and uh, took here and bishop to c4 with a very um, <coughs> straightforward idea to mate. Um, and uh, Duke of Brun Brunswick played knight to f6 um, in one of the Fisher simuls, uh, he uh, faced two openings playing the same op uh, the same move order in this position, and uh, he won them very easily. B6, uh, as you can see, the queen threatens this pawn. B6, knight to c3 with very unpleasant knight to d5 idea. C6, and in this position, beautiful move by White bishop to g5. This really wouldn't go in my mind, because if queen takes, then check, let's say, rook to d8, and uh, winning back the piece, and uh, threatening check, and uh, white is pawn up, so they're absolutely winning the game. So, uh, queen b3, threatening uh, pawn on f7 and uh, uh, black plays queen to e7 defending the f7 pawn. Um, of course uh, in this position white could take this pawn on b7 and after queen to b4 exchange uh, pieces and uh, have uh, be a pawn up but um, this position is um, so they will have to play a long, longer game, um, even though they are clearly winning. But Paul Murphy is uh, playing for win. 
he just sees that um, all these pieces are um, um, positioned wrong and he just continues to develop his pieces that's what he does knight to c3 c6 and bishop to g5 c6 has been uh, caused because um, um, different ideas of knight to d5 here appear so you want um, to defend d5 and you want to de defend b7 so from uh, queen here you need to play c6 in order to defend b7 all right uh, and after uh, bishop to g5 it appears that um, sorry for lots of arrows um, um, black is in Zugzwang here they can move the uh, knight because this pawn is hanging uh, they can move this uh, bishop and they can uh, move this knight because it's pinned so uh, lots of threats and uh, uh, black played b5 here and uh, so the game finishes with a beautiful combination knight takes b5 takes bishop b5 check knight to d7 um, and um, so if uh, king to d8 then bishop to f6 and uh, after queen takes then it's check and winning the rook uh, but uh, everyone uh, would play uh, knight to d7 here I guess it's developing a piece and uh, uh, long castles played by black um, very typical for uh, uh, Paul Murphy to bring all pieces to the attack so this is a beautiful position for white they have zero uh, weaknesses and black is pinned all over the place so uh, castles rook to d8 um, and this position is totally winning but um, uh, as we show later um, uh, white is um, playing the best uh, by far first line move uh, rook takes d7 uh, rook takes d7 knight is pinned and rook to d1 so one rook has gone and the other comes back and uh, again um, all threats are um, alive still uh, black virtually has no moves because they are all pinned uh, queen to e6 and a beautiful combination by Right here, so they take this uh, rook, takes still uh, black is uh, rook. Um, I'm sorry, piece up, and uh, he uses all all the pieces to mate black. He plays queen to b8 check, knight to b8, and rook to d8. Beautiful checkmate by by Paul Murphy. So. Uh, this is the game of the day and uh, thank you very much.